the big one that I remember is on, on my second spacewalk, we're connecting this dish antenna and it had to go on top of this big boom, like a big pedestal. And there was a connector that had a, an electrical connector. And we had uh, like an hour or so to connect the thing. And without it connected, it wasn't getting any power or data uh, to that antenna. And it could get too cold. And this gazillion dollar antenna could be a worthless hunk of junk. If you take too long, you're on the clock. Because when it was in the shuttle, it was plugged in. It was getting its, its heaters were on. And now you got to plug it back in and get the heaters back on in a certain amount of time. And so we're like, okay, we plan this, we train this. We get up there, and the connectors won't go together. It, like, it doesn't fit. And these two pieces of equipment sat next to each other for like a year in Florida, you know, like a warehouse. And nobody ever thought, well, oh, maybe we should make sure this thing fits. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And we get up there, like, it doesn't fit. And we're like, crap, you know, what do we do? So uh, we're shoving, and we're shoving so hard, we're pushing on this thing so hard that the guys inside the space station said they, they feel the space station shaking. Like, that's how hard we were trying. And then we see little metal shavings come off, and one of those, they can get in the connectors, and we're like, that's bad. So we stopped. And, uh, and, then, and then this was, like, kind of my, my big hero moment. You know, like in the movies, they, like... Brad Pitt saves the solar system and stuff. You know, <laughs> this is my thing, all right? It's not that exciting. But uh, I thought I, I, I had this idea. I said, hey, um, the, the problem we were basically having was that the female side was too small and, uh, and the male side was too big for it to fit together.